300ZX and WRX in this one. Okay, so the WRX, um, I've got to go and get it, and it's going to go up to Aaron's a mate's place, okay, because the ECU, yeah, that car wasn't what I got told it was. Um, obviously, the body work and that was extremely bad on it, and it was supposed to have good body and good paint. Um, and the, um, and it was supposed to be a crank sensor or a cam sensor gone in it, but it ended up being the ECU. So, um, Aaron, my mate, has lately got some new software to do ECU changes. He always used to be able to do like BA Falcon keys and stuff for me, but now apparently he can do um, the Subaru stuff and a lot of other models where he can actually get into the ECU and change it all around. So, I'm pretty excited to be able to give him the car and see what he can do because it's going to help us out long term with a lot of these turbo builds and stuff. So I'll um, take you up and show you. Aaron, Aaron actually has a bit of a He is with me today, carrying on as always. If you can hear in the background, and carrying on just because she's not getting attention. But anyway, all right. So and 300 ZX is down at Trav. Trav, the guy that done the paint on my black Ute. Um, he just rang me then and said, "Come down, have a look." He's having trouble with something. So. We're going to call in there soon, we'll show you where the 300ZX is up to, and um, yeah, we'll take the WRX down and have a chat with Aaron about what he can do for us. And yeah, so a bit of um, JDM stuff today, WRX and 300ZX, and both beautiful cars, even though the WRX is pretty trash, but we'll clean her up, she'll be a beast. Alright guys, let's have a go and have a look at this 300ZX. Alright. Um, got down here, Trevor's um, sorted out that back piece for us. He's still got a little bit of buffing to do and stuff, but that's all blended in and the 300ZX is coming up well. I'm going to go through and clean up these little strips here. And what else do we have to do? I've got a, if any of you guys have got a 300ZX, I need this piece here for the back of a Z31, if anyone's got one. I've got a new center cap for, for this wheel. Where's the camera there? For this wheel to go on. Done a little bit of brush touch around. This thing is so nice. It's just crazy nice. I can't believe how good it is. Like, look at the inside of it. I know I've shown you this before, but that there is probably the worst part of the whole interior. The rest of it is just absolutely spot on. I know it's brown, but you know, in the back there, see that back behind the seats there. All these covers are the original covers for the T-top, and it's actually got the um, it's actually got the covers that when you take these off and you slide the covers in, they sit in the back. Look, it's got all them with it too. But yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sell this definitely. Um, it's not something I'm passionate about, so it can go. Um, and I also, I've got, see this one here, where it says 300ZX? With the turbo cars, it's actually, will this open for me? Probably not. Anyway, um, on the back there, it's supposed to say turbo. I've got one, but it's cracked here. That piece is missing. So if anyone has got one of those 300ZX pieces, I do need one of them. I might actually use this as the start for our um, lives on the Wednesday night. But anyway, while we're down here, me and my little buddy Mia, I'll show you a bit of um, Trevor's collection. I just hit him up about this XW. He um, got this a while back, but it's just a, a good survivor car. It's not rusty. He was just telling me that he just gave it to his son and his son's got a BA XR8 with a big horsepower supercharged thing in it. But you just see how good it is. Like, it's just an untouched survivor. This was a King of Roy car. You can tell by this red dirt. See this red dirt? It's all over him. But it's just a, a good one. He picked this up a while back. And we picked up a, it was a yellow crashed XR6. He was going to put a barra in it, but a bit of a change of plans. Uh, what else he got down here today? This one's in for a rear quarter. Um, Quite a nice HQ though, it's pretty tidy. I think it's just a 308. It's got a, there's a, I won't touch it because it's not my car, a um, b and Mega Shifter in it. It's a weird spot for rust, isn't it? Look at that. Premier front. Very nice, eh? What do you reckon? Beautiful. I'm not a big, I've never been a big fan of these five slotters, especially not in a big dish one. You've got a, a ute in. He does a lot of um, H-series stuff, Trevor. He sort of loves this stuff. But yeah, big scoop on the back. But yeah. And out the back, he's got a bit of a boneyard going on. A little while ago, I went over to Toowoomba and picked up a, um, a Commodore for him. It was supposed to be this U-Butte Commodore. 
But um, when I got back here, I said to him, mate, this thing's been hit in the back and it's twisted and it was just absolutely atrocious. But this is her here. Like, this was supposed to be some U Butte mad Commodore. Um, I'm pretty sure the guy will sell it, but this thing is rough. Like, the gaps, like, you can see the gaps on the, on the boot there. And there is just wrong. And then it's the back of the quarter from memory. The way the quarter sits, it, it dips down. See, it's the boot lid sort of, and it's just, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah, she's just a, a roughie. It is complete and it is a V8. It's just another donor car of old Trev's. It's another ute. I do like these Caprice fronts. They are just awesome. But yeah, I didn't realize you had a Tirana down here as well. It's got good floors in it, this one. No dash. Picked this one up for him a while back from memory. This one had a GDS dash in it. She was yeah, it does. So it's got the GDS dash. There's the guys that don't know. GDS dash has those three gauges here. Well, four gauges just here. Something different. Yeah, she's column auto. Yeah, little Tirana. Yeah. Doesn't look too bad, this thing. For a Tirana. Just, yeah. Something different. What's this thing? It's got Strombergs on it. I wonder what that's out of. Does anyone know? Comment down below if you know what that is, because I have absolutely no idea. But anyway, look at that. Man, look at that. It's a GLX. <laughs> yeah, a couple of chassis and some guards. But yeah, just thought I'd um, show you what Trev's got going on in his backyard. And yeah, so next one we're going to go get this WRX and go sort this out and take it down to Aaron. So, yeah. So there's another couple of HQs and another one out there with the sunroof and just some rust guts. But um, yeah, Trevor does nice work. He just, uh, I hate dropping cars off to get done by other people, but I, it's you can always trust him. He's great. Does really, really nice work. But yeah, all right. We'll just have one more look at this 300ZX. Look at that. Isn't it just such a beautiful car? Love it. She's just absolutely spot on. I'm gonna go through and do these little bits of black and stuff. It'll just make a huge difference to what this car is. But yeah, and have a good clean up under the bonnet too, because you can see the aircon's been taken off it. I've got another aircon system for it. But yeah, I'm gonna pull those rocker covers, paint them up, get rid of where all this water's flicked everywhere. We did paint the covers and have it nice, but it, yeah, and we'll go through and clean up this engine bay and get it back to beautiful. But yeah, so. Yeah, hopefully um, one of you guys might even want this. Like it is a, a just a genuine survivor car. Done 240,000 Ks or something like that. Me has done a few more Ks than that today. We went out to the camels today. I'll show you a picture. Here's Mia with a camel. One hump or two? Oh, out and about doing more tow jobs, dudes. And I've come across some gems. We might end up with these for the channel. We'll see how we go. Okay, so one is a manual. The black one is a manual turbo, which is hard to get. It's a 260, I'd prefer a 240, but still, there's two of them here. All right, I was just over there looking at them to get through. It's a bit of a mission, the way the fence and all that is. But yeah, so this one here, it's, it's got a bit of rust, but she's a, a 260 turbo manual. And this one here is extremely rusty. And it's also a two plus two. Um, yeah, 260. Because we're going to sell that 300, but you can see she's rough, this one, right? But yeah. But I couldn't believe this one. He's a factory turbo. If I can get them, I'd be pretty happy. But the guy wants too much money for what they are at the moment. But we will see what we can do and try and get them for the channel. So that's a pretty cool sort of find, day. Eh? I hope we can get our hands on that one. Um, the black one is a little bit rusty, but I reckon we can still do something with it. Okay. Yes, buddy? I need to wait for it. Okay. I was down the road this morning, just down the road from here. I'm out the back of nowhere, out the back of Nanango, and I see this green Mustang drive past. I thought to myself, Christ, you don't see old Mustangs driving around in the back of Queensland, but here she is here. It's got a set of armor lights on it. It's fairly tidy. He was saying he's only recently got it, but it's, um, I don't know, I like it. The wheels just work on it. I love this green colour. Like, um, HR's come out in a similar colour. But yeah, how nice is that? She's an import one. 
you can just smell the polish on it. <laughs> but yeah. Don't see many Mustangs out here. But yeah. I don't know. Just another one of interest, guys. I know you like to see what I see when I'm out and about, but it'd be good if we can get our hands on those, um, the 260 and do something with them, because that 300 will be sold soon, so, yeah. All right, I'll keep driving around, keep showing you what I find. All right, let's see how this girl goes, eh? I don't even mind that it's an auto, to be honest. It's not actually too bad. Let's see, eh? sound like a WRX it sounds crisp the pipes on it doesn't give it that box of rumble it sounds like it's got cams or something in it um, yeah we could be on a winner with it even though it is like not what it's supposed to be God, this thing's good I, I wouldn't mind it actually now I'm thinking I'm gonna keep it <laughs> bloody hopeless eh nah it's going it has to go we need it to fund other projects so I just got out of it and turned around, but look how nice it is. Like, it is just so good, this car. It's just absolutely spot on. Paint's perfect on it. Interior's tidy. I don't know. <laughs> and then I've got, I've got that thing in the driveway that I'm just... And it's just a heap of shit, but I'm in love with it. <laughs> I don't know. I've got issues. Anyway, guys. All right, next one. Stop pissing about. See you. All right, guys. Dan here at... Kingaroy Auto Electric. So these guys are awesome. Like they've they've fixed some crazy stuff before. Um, we had the WRX, which is sitting here, obviously, at the workshop. Went through and done all the sensors and that that old mate said was wrong and had half a play with it. And then in the end, they said, look, I can't spend any more time on it. Take it to the Auto Elec. So that's why it ended up here. Um, worked through the process with them guys. Everything that the captain checked was perfect, the same as what he said. Um, and in the end, we've brought it back to ECU. So. I'm about to load this up now and take it over to Aaron's, okay? He, um, a bit of a tech guru. He's gonna try and fix the, the, the tuned ECU out of this, okay? Um, and we'll show you the ins and outs of that. I'll show you what's burnt out and I'll show you how I think, I think I've got a plan on how I can fix it for cheap. But this is what this sounds like. It doesn't sound like a boxer. Like I'll start this up now and I'm hoping you guys can hear it, but it doesn't have that rumble of the boxer. hear that like and then it shuts itself down because of the ECU because the security system in it but it doesn't have that box of rumble it's um I hope it's got cams in it it's got it it's got a weird set I'm mate I'm wrapped I'm hanging to get this thing running all right let's get this loaded up and let's get over to Aaron right so we're over here with Aaron uh, we just unloaded the WRX and we're in here pulling this ECU apart Aaron actually does some pretty mad um, drone stuff okay so the ECU we've got was a tuned one it's been done by some place in townsville bob hawkins performance okay so it the wrx had had some sort of tune in it when we started it up just then like it sounds like a rotary it's something's not right but it's going to be good we can follow this process and and find out what's wrong so we're just pulling this apart now so i can show aaron which pieces need to be replaced and then i'm going to give him a stock ecu that i've got at the workshop just a non-turbo impressor one and we'll pull it's the two um, spark coil diodes or whatever to stop the stuff. So, all right. If you, I can see it right there. Which one? You spotted them already? Yep, that's them there. So, if you guys can see, where's the screwdriver there? See, all right. So, if he's got that under there, in here, it's that one there and that one there, and those two there apparently control um, the spark, okay? Because one 
coil bank had nothing and the other one had just the slightest little bit of um, response so we're just going to um, try and unsolder them solder two more in and then supposedly I've been lied to about this car already a bit supposedly that's a tuned ECU for this engine now it's got extractors and stuff this engine and listening to it before it sounds like a really bad tune I don't know, it's going to be a fun one. We're all going to learn a bit. So, you're capable, Aaron, of... Um, yep, that's nothing for me. Give it a bash? All right, sweet. So tomorrow, during the live, Aaron will probably come down, grab that other ECU and have a play. And we might be able to get this thing out and drive it this weekend. So, a step forward with the WRX. The 300ZX is kicking ass as well. Um, bloody phone. Drives me around the bend. All right, dudes. You know the drill, like, subscribe. Um, our live is in the morning, 10 o'clock. We're gonna be putting the motor back in the Bedford so I can get the Bedford out and we can start on a few more projects. Anyway, all right dudes. See you on the live tomorrow. See you.